The Frog Prince Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a beautiful princess. She loved to play with her beautiful golden ball in the palace gardens. One day when she was playing with the ball, it slipped out of her hands and rolled away and fell into a pond in the palace garden. The poor princess sat beside the pond and cried. <laughs> She did not know how to get the ball back. As the princess sat there, she heard a voice. Why are you crying, princess? She looked up in surprise. and found herself staring at an ugly green frog. Oh, I have lost the ball I was playing with. It fell into the pond. I do not know how to get it back. The frog asked her, What will you give me if I will bring back the ball for you? princess who loved to play with that ball quickly said I will give you all the jewels I have the frog replied jewels I do not need but if you let me play eat drink and sleep with you then I will get the ball back for you the princess agreed and in her mind she thought, Oh, it's just a frog. I do not have to keep my promise to it. The frog jumped into the pond. And brought the golden ball back for the princess. As soon as the princess took the ball, she thanked the frog and ran back to her palace. The frog called out to her, but she did not listen. Next day, when the princess was dining with her father, she heard a knock at the door. Knock, knock. She opened the door. She found the frog standing before her. The princess quickly shut the door, leaving the frog outside the door. Her father, the king, asked her, Who was there at the door? The princess replied, Only an ugly green frog. The king asked, What does the frog want? The princess told the whole story to her father. The king heard her story and then scolded her. A promise is a promise and must be kept, my dear, he said and ordered her to open the door and let the frog come inside. The princess picked up the frog and placed it on a chair. The frog jumped onto the table from the chair. Then the frog told the princess to move her plate closer so that they could eat together. The princess wept.
but had to do as she was told. Then the frog went with the princess to her room. The princess, however, pushed the frog outside her room. After a few minutes, the princess heard a knock at the door. The princess asked in fear, oh, Who is there? The frog said, It is me, the frog. Let me come in. Your father has told you to keep the promise you made to me. So, let me come in and sleep in your bed. Angrily, the princess opened the door. The ugly green frog hopped onto her bed. But the princess tried to stay away from it as much as she could. Next day again, the same thing happened. The princess was worried that the frog would never leave her. Will you never go away? She asked the frog. The frog answered, Well, kiss me once. After that, if you want me to leave you, I will go. What? Yelled the princess, Me! Kiss a frog! Never! But her father ordered her to listen to the frog. After all, a promise made must be kept. The princess wept, but she had to kiss the frog. She closed her eyes and gave the frog a kiss. Then she opened her eyes. Oh my, what had happened? Where was the frog? She found a handsome prince standing in front of her instead of an ugly green frog. The prince told her that a witch had put a spell on him, changing him into a frog. And only a princess could set him free from the spell if she fell in love with him. The princess fell in love with the prince and he fell in love with her. They were married next to the pond in the garden and lived happily for many years. Children, this is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once, there was a bear's family who lived in a cottage in a jungle. There was a papa bear, a mama bear, and a little baby bear. One morning, mama bear prepared some porridge for their breakfast. The porridge was very hot and the three bears decided to take a walk in the forest while it cooled. They had not gone long when a little girl named Goldilocks came along. She had flowers in her hands. When she saw 
the three bears cottage she happily clapped her hands she found it pretty and was curious to know who lived there she stood on her toes and peeped inside through a window she found nobody inside she opened the door and went inside the cottage she saw three bowls of porridge on the table she cried with joy oh that porridge smells good mm -hmm. she was feeling hungry so she picked up a spoon to taste the porridge in the big bowl she cried ouch that porridge is too hot to eat after that she tasted the porridge in the medium sized bowl but that porridge was too cold to eat at last she tasted the porridge in the tiny little bowl this porridge was just right for her to eat and she ate it all up Then she found three chairs set before the fire and decided to sit there. First, she sat on the big sized chair. <coughs> 